FXB, welcome to my channel. So look, we've got too many radios here on the go. So we've got the 7100 there. We've got the new Yesu 710, which I would say is absolutely fantastic. I love it. And with the AES speaker connected, it just sounds brilliant. So I got this from Martin Lynch in the UK. And I've got my 991A here, which I'm using for C4FM, VHF, UHF. So what's the difference? Well, it's slightly bigger, I would say. Not a lot bigger than the 991, but definitely smaller than the DX10. Uh, you haven't got the backlit buttons that we've got on the 991A, but it's, it just works, doesn't it? And these nice LEDs here, I'm sure they change color for different things that you do. But I've been going through it, got a feel for it already. The first thing I realized was with the, the scope here, which is very lively. Just tap function, tap level here, and then you can, when you come back on, you can adjust it to make the scope change. Expand, expand, three, that's your 3D, or your, oh, so, sorry, that's your normal scope. I haven't tried to change channels yet. Look at that, that's just like audio oscilloscope. And my antenna's a bit rubbish at the moment, it's a 9 to 1 balance, I must have a bad connection because it's not allowing me to tune. The power, I've got the power low. Uh, here, let's just tap that, power low. And if I try and tune, it doesn't want to know. So I must have a bad connection in one of my, because I haven't used HF for about three months. So the buttons are on the top. So instead of having the buttons squashed in around the VFO, you've got them along the top and here. Uh, very user friendly. Volume, function, RF gain, listen to this. See that? See the needle go on the... Yeah, okay, no, well, you're 5859. Well, I mean, it's just brilliant. Room. It just sounds lovely. Uh, DNR, let's see if it's on. You hold it. Set the level. It does work. You get that watery sound, but you get it with the 991. But it's almost like a phone call. You can't even tell that I'm on HF when you use it. So this isn't a full, I just thought I'd show it with the 991, but I'm just waffling now, but basically you tap the thing, tap the thing there and you can get the, you know, you can move the frequency faster. Enter the frequency there. You've got, what else did I find, band here different meters just by tapping the meter expand the display you can change the span of the, what the display you know the scope covers the speed fix speaks for itself really when it's fixed then you follow the arrow see where your arrow is up here Vox on off I'll turn it on and off for you so you get an idea I mean, I like it. I mean, I had a 7300, which is good. I mean, apparently the receive sensitivity is better on the Yesu. It's a newer design. Who knows? But this is fun. I, no one will be disappointed with this radio. That is 100%. Yesu have done a very good job with this. Now, I, haven't, I didn't have the DX10, but the DX10 is a bit too big for me. Now, I like small package loads. Imagine this. 991 case but you know it, sorry an all mode radio in this case is going to be a bestseller isn't it but this this is more when it's a dedicated radio dedicated to hf and six meters it's going to be better now we're going to set up our six meter repeater for this because it does have that as four meters that i've never used it has tones and shifts and all that um, and just so much for me to look at here You've got this new button here at the top, Zin Spot, which apparently is good for CW. Um, what's on here? Just obvious stuff. Your mic equalizer marker. Color. I haven't touched that yet. Look at that. We can change color. I do like the color it is. Let's do that one. There you are. We can get rid of the oscilloscope if I remember how. Uh, there you go. You've got the multi button. That's with the oscilloscope. That's without. Expand. I just think it's brilliant. It's great fun. I like the other color. <laughs> uh, 
colour. There you go. That's the one I liked. And I guess, like I said, if we go function, hit anything on the function display, then that becomes what you can change. So for example, if I hit the function and I go power, I'm now turning up the power. You get it. Function. Uh, what else do we actually use? Memory groups there. Dimmer. So I have dimmed it down because it's a bit bright on the screen. Watch. Dimmer. A bit bright on the camera, should I say. This is definitely a winner. Uh, tap there. Is that going to change the mode? No, you tap it in. That's a bit confusing, but you've got a different mode there. Now to tap it. Oh, it times out after a few seconds. But look, you've got VFO B here. And VFO A. So I'm tapping here. But if I go to B... Oh, it takes it up there. So the one that you tap up here is the one you, you use, basically. Let's have a quick tune. Just tap it here. And remember, this is without the side speaker. The side speaker, when you add it on, it just adds loads of bass. So it sounds a lot better with the side speaker, and I've tested it, it does sound better. And you've got the speaker adjustment here, look, AES. Let's tap it. If I go all the way so, let's do the other one. So I would say that without the AES-S speaker, you, it is a bit higher pitched. DNR, narrow. You've got a busy TX, so a little LED there that goes red when you TX. Now, I haven't even pushed these memory to VFO, VFO memory. So there are memory channels there. How do we change them? I don't know. Oh, hang on, let's get the door. Right, that was someone at the door. So you've got, is it, is that, let's hit that. Why am I playing with a 991? So DSP reset. Hold it. What else we got here? Fine and fast tune down here. I can see that appearing there. So remember, I've never used this radio ever. RF gain. Works great. The buttons feel nice. Quick memory. Quick memory one. Okay. There you are. We have quick memory one. And A, B, split. That looks nice in red, doesn't it? Green and red on the split. I like that. Like, there's more colour than you think in this screen. Zin spot, never use that mode. All right, there's a mode button on top. So if you go for mode, you don't have to, you can tap here or you can hit mode at the top. Thin spot, split, clarifier. Clarifier there. What do we turn? What do we turn? Not sure what you turn once you hit the clarifier. Oh look, you see that? I'm able to change frequency using that, and then fine tune with this. Oh, the clarifier. I see how the clarifier works. So when you hit the clarifier. Let's turn it off. Oh, each time you press it's RX TX, TX, then you can have both. And then off. I just love it. So thanks for watching my channel. I'll do lots more close up videos. I thought I'd show it with the 991. Um, yeah, 7.3 and the 7.1.0 here as well. Bye for now.